There are no cats, memes, or cat pictures in this. I'm only wearing one on my shirt. Like, that's whole next level. Are you, each and every one of you, being the right person for DevOps and the work that you're trying to do in your organizations? I ask this question because I question whether we actually are. This talk started as a result of this sign in my house. And basically, is marriage is more than finding the right person, it's being the right person. This fundamentally changed the relationship I had with my wife, and it had me question the relationship that we have. Additionally, in the Phoenix Project, which I bet all of you have read, right, Eric talks about how the CEO and the CIO are often at odds, and they feel like that relationship, um, they're at the mercy of one another, right, held hostage. And we see that in our relationships between ops and dev, right? The devs are like, hey, why does it take so long? Why can't you give me what I ask for? Uh, if I wait for you and all of your processes, I'll never get anything done, right? On the ops side of the house, though, we have different concerns, right? Why can't you be more patient? Why can't you use what we've been able to deliver? And if we don't utilize these processes, we may be creating organizational technical debt issues that we aren't going to be able to maintain and operate this environment. So being the right person for DevOps means extending beyond your role, your concerns, your cares, the things that you get up and go about your day with. It's about being more mindful of other people. And here's some things that you can do to do this. Number one, communicate. Learn about your partner. How can you have a relationship with someone who you don't know? Get to know them. Let them get to know you to the degree that you're comfortable. Uh, understand their concerns, their interests, what gets them up in the morning. Why do they do this work right, in their communication style? Talk less and listen more. Okay? We love to talk about the things that we're doing, how we're doing it, and, and how we accomplished it. We are not very good at listening. Right? Um, and keep in mind that because you hear someone say something does not mean that they're listening. I absolutely have learned this from my children and my family because we hear one another, but we're not always listening. Right? We're not always actively consuming what was said so that we can act on it. When you do listen, make sure you increase your empathy. So when someone says, hey, this part of the environment is down, it's not working, don't say, oh, I'll get to it eventually. Be more mindful about what's happened. Listen actively and then um, be aware of how it's impacting other people. This leads to thinking about other people. Again, we're very selfish beings. It's just how we are. So understand that the things that you do aren't about you. It's about how you're impacting other people. You know, that customer first mindset, have that with your peers as well. Okay? Invest time to do things for other people. Right? Be sensitive when people actually need your help. Like when you ask your neighbor, hey, can you help me move this couch? Nobody wakes up in the morning saying, you know what I want to do today? I want to help somebody move a couch. Right? Teach others the information and knowledge that you have. Just because you know something, that value only extends to as far as you can reach. You can reach farther by teaching people the things that you know. And understand that there aren't stupid questions. There's just ignorance behind the questions. You can fill that in. In order to do that, you develop trust, right? And people will trust you. If you're transparent with information, you're transparent with knowledge and communication, they will be trusting of you. And they will start doing the same back to you. Now, it's not about just how you treat other people. It's how you treat yourself as well. If you are not taking care of yourself, you can't be a good partner for other people. You simply can't do it. You have to be more than just your job. You have interest. Enjoy them. Right? Take time and actually enjoy your vacation. If today you feel like I'm losing a day from work because I'm here, that's a problem. You need to resolve that because you're not taking care of yourself. And you, everybody gets sick time usually. Mental health days matter. Take them. Also invest in yourself. Make sure people... Uh, see that you are growing your knowledge and your breadth of knowledge, right? Become more than that one key discipline that you're just really, really good at. You know, increase the depth on that, but get broader as well. The last section is how you celebrate with other people. You will accomplish things. As you go on this journey, you'll start accomplishing things more frequently. Celebrate those and acknowledge when other people do good work on the team, okay? Take time to celebrate. Don't just make it something like, oh, yeah, we'll get through this sprint, and then we're going to be happy. No, no, no. Focus and dedicate time to having those celebrations. And after you've reached those milestones, resync. Identify what's that next milestone, okay? Key thing is being the right person for DevOps, it means that you have to look at all the people around you and how 
your sphere, your light, the work that you do is impacting others. And if you take these principles to heart, both here and at home, your life's going to be a lot better place. Thank you.